the Super Mario Brothers movie. Okay, I was genuinely surprised when I saw this in theaters, which is genuinely a great video game movie adaptation based on all Super Mario Bros. games. It was my childhood of all time. Now, with one question, seeing the reception from each critics and audiences, does it worth the hype? We'll find out. Let's go! The Super Mario Brothers movie is a 2023 computer anime adventure film created by Illumination Entertainment, which is a video game film based on Super Mario games by Nintendo. With help from Princess Peach, Mario gets ready to square up against the all-powerful Bowser to stop his plans from conquering the world. Super Mario Brothers is my favorite video game series that became a special place to my heart. Thanks to great games and great graphics, awesome characters, iconic themes, and much more. But with this movie came out, I was optimistic at that point because of the voice casting. Especially Chris Pratt as Mario, a lot of people truly hit on that direction. But as Traders goes on, they're completely fine as long as Chris can keep nailing the accent that the OG Mario voice cast can do that well. And surprisingly, it did. Not only Chris Pratt, but Jack Black as Bowser was a great cast. He nails it as Bowser, a comic relief, but a terrifying villain. He's one of the greatest on that. He stole the show. Not just him, but alongside the cast, like Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach, Chris Day as Luigi, perfect casting, and much more. I was pleasantly surprised and became my favorite video game so far alongside Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And oh my gosh, all video game references, putting it in one movie, perfect. It's a masterpiece. A lot of people will like it, especially for the younger audiences, especially for the hardcore Mario fans like me. But one thing that's pumping me up is the fact that, yeah, I know why the critics truly hate on this film because the plot is why they're focused. It's too simple, too thin, too basic, nothing else special. That's the main problem throughout all video game movies though. Simple story doesn't have any special thing. It's just on copy or paste through previous video game storytelling to this film. And a lot of people are truly get tired of it. However, it's a solid thing. It's better than the current superhero movies today like Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania nowadays. Simple story, but tell enough for a whole lot of characters in a good way possible. It makes sense. Not only that, but the soundtrack they have for this movie. Brian Tyler is one of the legends now. He made such an iconic soundtrack. Like, he brought back some nostalgic themes. Mario, yes, they brought it back. Also, the level complete, the star power scene, everything that you want to witness is in this movie. You should definitely must see. Also, there's a ton of references, like the Super Mario Super Show intro, using it for the commercial. It's a genius way to add it that makes it truly love the film much more. Also, the Rainbow Road sequence, the Mario Kart thing, absolutely jaw-dropping. It's everything you want from the Illumination movie. And animation is astounding. It's a next level. Alongside Across the Spider-Verse and Puss in Boots The Last Wish, the animation and style, truly awesome. Well, I do know that there are some few issues out there while it's not being perfect, but it's a solid movie that all video game fans, especially for kids, truly love the film. It possibly did not disappoint at all. For action for Super Mario Brothers movie, I'm rating it 4 stars. Man, I have some nostalgia feel about this movie. It has great action sequences. They brought some iconic sound effects like open the mystery box, some training sequences from Princess Peach, especially the Mario Kart sequence, the final fight, and the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate fighting style. Definitely amazing. It's truly one of the greatest from any video game movie adaptation. I've never seen that much more special and much more hype before. 
Sin Sonic 2. It's a must watch. For comedy, I'm giving it 3 stars. Jack Black as Bowser is not just a terrifying villain, but it's also sometimes very funny. Like on that piano scene where he played to sing a song for Princess Peach, he wants to marry Peach. <laughs> it reminds me of some precious video games that I never might remember, but sometimes it's truly funny. I'm glad that they brought it here. For story, I'm giving it 2.5 stars. It's too simple, too basic, and too thin throughout video game movies when it comes to creating a story. It's just solid, but it did not land some of the um the character arcs, some storytelling that they had from this movie. It's just a decent one. For suspense, I'll give it 2 stars. Mamma mia! Not just Jack Black as Bowser became a terrifying villain to face from Mario, but also the prison sequence from Bowser's castle. Seeing prisoners go down to death as lava is about to come, and one character talk about death in a family-friendly kid movie? That's terrifying, my god! For pacing, I'm giving it 2 stars. For a 1 hour 32 video game film, it never once feel like that hour of the time. It's just like a 40 minute theme ride movie kind of thing. The solid storytelling wasn't really that help. It's too fast paced. For casual fans, they surprisingly loving this film. I'll go with A. For moviegoers, definitely loved it a lot. I'll go with S. Then critically, that's what I'm mad about them. I'm giving it a C. For the Super Mario Brothers movie, it's not a great video game movie that Mario fans could hope looking for. However, there are some solid stuff and amazing sequences that some Mario fans and family-friendly audiences will ever gonna like it. And it will go down in history as one of the greatest movie adaptations based on the video game. I'm giving it 8.5 over 10. It's a worthy movie that you should definitely add it to your collection at home. A fine addition to my collection. Wonderful movie. It's a great film overall. Even though the plot wasn't really that complex, it, it's too simple to tell. You can tell there's some passion and love for everything that you've been seeing on screen. And this is everything that you've been looking for. That's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my movie review for today. Stay tuned for more movie reviews in the future. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like, and turn notifications on as always for more content in the future. Next time guys, goodbye. Go